Hey, welcome to me and Mrs. Always Right. I am your host, me. And I'm Mrs. Always Right. Coming from coming to you. Always screw that up. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Coming to you live from that little trailer park in Burke Burnett, Texas. And yes, it's on a map. <laughs> it is there, that little town. Nice. How was your vacation? Holiday? It was good. It was good. How about yours? You yeah. had a whole week vacation. No, I had three days vacation. <sighs> Well, two days, but you two were days. off all week. Two days was a weekend. Actually, yeah. four days was a weekend. Yes. The two two before, the two after. Yeah. Two days was a holiday, and I had three days vacation. But te- but really, you were off work for five days. Nine days. Okay, the weekends don't count because you normally get you, the weekends you off You just anyway. said they did. No. No. Yes, I was off work for work. five days. You were off work. For three days. For, for five days. For three days, because everybody was off work for two days. Well, probably not everybody. No, not everybody. So so what we call, I would call that, you got a week off of work, a week, work week you got off, so you were on vacation. Yeah, okay, fine. I'll so, take it. Yeah, that must be nice. Oh, I'm full. You did. It. You got a good scald on that turkey. Well, thank you, thank you. Oh, speaking of vacations, what's your uh, what's your favorite vacation that we took? Oh, my favorite vacation. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. It's probably the last vacation that we took. Key West. Yes, and you want to know why? Because the plane ride. No, not the plane ride. You got to see me naked. I see you naked all the time. Not in Florida. <laughs> That's true. Right? That is true. That uh, is no, true. Why was, it, why was it the best vacation ever? The deep sea fishing was the best ever. Ever. I've never been. It was so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. And you caught, you caught a couple of good fishes. We ate very good that night. Yeah. Yeah. That was a lot of fish. And then, you know, oh God, where was So we've been, we've been to Vegas. And we have been to Vegas. We have been to. It was, that was fun. I Vegas was lie. fun. But you, you I wouldn't mind going back. Yeah, but we got to get more prostitutes next time. Oh. How many did we have last time? We didn't have any. That's oh, why okay. we need more. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I was good with it, but oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we stayed on the strip. I, I think if we go back, I want to stay in Old Vegas. Oh, yeah. That would be that would be a lot of fun. I hear it's really nice. Mm-hmm. What they call yeah. that, Fremont Street? Yes, that's what I've always heard about, Fremont Street. And then we've been to South Padre Island. Yes. Because of the <laughs> the border patrol on the way back. <laughs> oh, that was dumb. <laughs> no, no, no. No, tell the story. No. That was, that was oh, a my lot God. of fun. So, that was a lot <laughs> we, we went on a vacation to South Padre Island. We drove down there. I borrowed a friend's car because it was smaller and more efficient on fuel. Yes. Yes, and it and, was. And nothing ever crossed my mind driving down there. It was a good time. I'd look over. You'd pop a tit out. I'm like, yay, let's go. It's great. This is fun, right? Get to Padre. We have fun. We, we went We went skidoo riding in the yeah, bay. Yeah, yeah. Right? I almost drowned in the, in the ocean. I mean, that was fun. We yeah. rented that little bunk beddy stay place. Yeah, yeah. It was fun. We yeah. had a good time. We had a great time. A and, great time. Yes, and then you're we, right. And then we, we leave. Hang on. It seems like we did something else while we were down there that was that I thought was really funny, and I cannot remember. I'll remember it. Anyway, continue with your story. I'll remember it, I'm so, sure. So we had a great week. I think it was a weekend. I can't remember. Maybe I it think was it a, was a long weekend. It was like a... Um, like what over Memorial Day or Labor Day or something. It was a long right. weekend. So yeah, <laughs> we're driving back, and I am oblivious to the world. I'm like, oh, ooh, yeah. I'm tired. Yeah, Did and some he's, swimming. Dri- he's driving. I was y'all. driving. He's driving. And then off in the- I drove down there. Remember, I did drive down there. I don't believe that, but okay. No, you, I drove. Whatever, down there. babe. Does that but make you, you feel good? No. Does that make you feel good? But you were. When we started off, you were driving back. Yes, this this it's part a 10 is hour very drive. True. Okay, but on the, on the <laughs> way back, <laughs> off in the distance, I catch the 
hint of a Border Patrol checkpoint, which is about 60 miles in uh-huh. from Brownsville. Okay? Yeah. All yeah. right? Oh, yeah. yeah. And then it clicked on me whose car I'm in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay? The, 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 the good friend of mine that I rented the car from likes to indulge in some extracurricular activities. Yes. Okay? Absolutely. And um, that kind of got me freaked out. Yes, it did. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. really freaked you out, really. <laughs> so <laughs> we roll into this Border Patrol checkpoint. Yes. And there is this big, muscular big. Border Patrol guard, big. officer, whatever big. whatever y'all want to be called if you're listening. I, I don't really give two shits. Big but. guy. Big guy with a big dog. German Shepherd. I know what that was because he was dog. looking at me. Okay. And I pull in, and his arms are crossed, and he's like, how you doing? I'm like, baby, how am I doing? <laughs> how am I doing, baby? <laughs> he was freaking out. He couldn't even say anything. He just turned his head right quick and looked at me. And he goes, uh, where are you coming from? <laughs> baby, baby, where are we coming from? <laughs> South Padre. Oh, South Padre, sir. That's where we're coming from. Where are you headed to? Are you, uh, are you American citizens? <laughs> baby, baby, am I born here? <laughs> Baby, help. He was so confused. <laughs> hey, it, the guy's that dog. Car. That dog kept fucking eyeballing me. I am telling you, <laughs> that dog knew something was up, man. He was like, "Dude, I know where you got this car. I smell this car. I smell this he car did. before was, you got here." That dog would not stop looking at me. <laughs> babe, babe, help! Are you American citizens, baby? Baby, <laughs> was I born here? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, oh, it was then, funny. And then there was a three minute stare off. And yep. I'm just looking and I glance at him and I glance at the dog I had moved. The dog's the, just staring at oh, me. Oh, the dog was serious. The, and you know, he took, he looked at me and he took his paws and he took his little toes and he put them to his eyes and he pointed <laughs> them to my eyes. <laughs> like, and then he pointed I'm watching him, you, I'm dude. watching you. Yeah. yeah. That dog took his paws. I got your number. Got oh your my number. God, I shit in the car. That's what the <laughs> fuck. That's the only thing that got us away is because I took a shit right in the fucking driver's seat of that car. And that dog wasn't going to. He goes, look, I'll smell all the drugs in the lot, but I am not sniffing your shit. Exactly. Did so you smell if, like shit? Continue on. So if, and this is, you know, a little pointer here. <laughs> if you go on vacation. And you're going through a, D, a, a, a border patrol checkpoint, shit yourself. They don't. <laughs> If that's all they can smell, they're not going to bother you. That's Take... not true, but... If, if I was a Border Patrol agent, it would be. I ain't digging through your car with you shitting in it. That's the last thing I'm going to do. You walk up and you roll that window down and I smell diarrhea. <laughs> Have a good day. But I'm from Guatemala. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, go. I don't Please, care. Please, sir, move along. They Please, could have been sir. driving. They could have been driving uh, Breaking Bad's RV through there. If I walked in there and smelled somebody shit in their pants, they can go cook meth wherever the <laughs> fuck they want. <laughs> Just I'd be the worst. Get it away from me. I'd be the worst border guard ever. Yeah. Yeah. It was funny. No, it, no, it, was it wasn't. Funny. It wasn't funny. Well, the dog I, wasn't you know looking what? at you. It it's funny now though. It is funny now. The dog never looked at you. The dog was looking at me. <laughs> That's because you were driving. If I would have been driving, he would have been staring at me like, bitch, mm, mm, where we going? <laughs> what what are we doing here? Whew, boy, we got man. it was it was funny. It it was funny after the fact. After the fact. I, I don't know. I think I was probably laughing then too, every time you would look at me like <laughs> when the guy asked you a question, you would just snap uh-huh. your head and look at me like, What's the answer? What should I say? Help me, help me, help me. It was like you were drowning. I need my lawyer. <laughs> Oh, my God. I wonder what that guy would have done if you would have said, can I have my lawyer, please? <laughs> I'm about to try that next time. Yeah. And Where I normally don't. Fucking, can I have my lawyer, please? I normally don't clam up like that with cops. I don't. <laughs> that, right. That's what get, you don't normally clam up like that at all. Anytime with anybody. That's why I thought it was so funny. You were just like, oh, God, what do I do? Because all I could think about was there was a fucking (laughs) kilo of weed in the fucking trunk, okay? Yeah, we didn't even think to check the car before we left. I've never been to South Texas like that. I didn't know. I didn't know you had to go through a Border Patrol checkpoint. Well, you don't have to going down there. 
Well, that would have helped if I would have known <laughs> on the way down there. Right? It's how they trap you coming back, right? Exactly. You oh, can you take go, so go look down so there, have fun. FYI, you can take all the drugs you want to Mexico. <laughs> they don't give a shit. Don't. But I tell you what, coming back, don't. they want to know what size your butthole is. <laughs> and they have a gauge to check. They probably do. Uh, oh god. That was, it was funny. What's that the, was fun. Hey, officer. <laughs> Jorge, what's what's his butt on the pucker gauge? I don't know. It's so tight. I couldn't get that son of a bitch up in there. We can't even measure it. He's so scared. That starfish wasn't opening up for anybody. It was not hungry. Oh, oh that's funny. Fuck that. Oh, that's funny. That was a good time. We had no. a good time. I go through TSA at the airports. I'm cool. I don't care. Rub- Check, check all you want to, the x ray thing. <laughs> Fuck Border Patrol. And, <laughs> they and, just, they, oh. they make you nervous because they're, they're very intimidating. It's the fucking dog. Exactly. I can't speak dog. I can speak cop, right? I know what he's thinking. <laughs> I have no fucking idea what that dog is thinking. Okay. I don't he's know. He's probably sitting there going, hmm. I wonder where the squirrels are at. I or, hadn't yeah. seen any squirrels Or, you know, today. I hadn't had an Oscar Mayer wiener in, in you know, <laughs> 10 minutes, you know. I have no idea what that fucking dog is yeah. thinking. Like, Maybe, hmm, where you, do I you, get my you know what? From? You, you want to get, get poodles. Because nobody's scared of fucking poodles. <laughs> okay? But a poodle can smell drugs just like a German Shepherd can, right? Well, yeah. I think any dog, if they're trained right, any dog can sniff them out. You think so? I think so. I think it's all in the way they're trained. Can you imagine Border Patrol walking around with all these you know fucking what? poodles, though? <laughs> That's intimidating. <laughs> hey, we should go again, and I'm just going to buy like a whole bunch of dog treats. I fucking dare you. <laughs> we'll see how the dog acts when he comes to the car. Just as then. soon as we pull up, open the just bag, the, and just, just like, dump them all out. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I was going to eat this, and but I got nervous and dropped them in my car. <sighs> Man. That would be funny. I wonder if the dog, how the dog would act. Oh, yeah. he's he's on a leash. Well, I know he's on a leash, but is he? Does he react to treat smells like any other dog? I mean, I know they give them treats, but sit, sit in the back seat with a fucking uh, pound of ground beef to make <laughs> to make the dog. <laughs> Uh, Watch him start jumping all around. The guy's like, oh, uh, God, get out of the vehicle. Oh, we got to do that. We got to go on a vacation. <laughs> now that we know, we got to take somebody on vacation. That then, doesn't know? Yeah, then all the way back. And stick dog treats in everywhere. their pockets. <laughs> in their pockets, under the fender wells, on the engine so they get nice and warm oh, and the dog yeah, can smell yeah, them. Yeah, oh. yeah, That'd be funny. Oh, well, it would until <laughs> until the anal probe gauge comes out. Yeah, yeah. That wouldn't be so so nice. Oh I don't God. want no part of that. <laughs> oh, that was a fucking day. It was fun, though. For who? You. Me? Yeah. It was funny then, but it's way funnier now. <laughs> oh, yeah? Because, yeah, because that, that, because it's past. There's no, no chance of us getting in trouble for the vehicle smelling like not a vehicle. So, so it's all, yeah, it's all good now. It's all good. Man. And, and funny. And that dude, that dude smoke weed every day. Every day. Every day. And I think we called him after, after we. After we, yep, we did. And didn't he say, oh, I think I left a small. No, he told me he took everything out. Oh, okay. Some reason I was thinking he told you he left, he might have left no, a small no, he told little. Me. No, he goes, because he goes, I'm like, dude. We just went through his, <laughs> and I shit in your car, so just send me the cleaning bill. But is everything out of the game? Oh, yeah, yeah, I took everything out. I'm like, it's probably something I should have done before we went through the checkpoint was call him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. It was funny. Your face. Oh, your poor little face. It was so funny. Yeah, I'm glad you laughed. <laughs> glad that dog got a kick out of it, too. Fuck that guy. He probably did. He's like, ah, I scared him good. <laughs> Maybe that's his goal in life, just to look really mean and just see how many people he fucking, can intimidate. Fucking asshole dog. <laughs> who does that? Yeah, who does that? Oh, my God. So, we, And then, uh, that was the first vacation we ever went on. You took me to San Antonio. Yeah. You remember? We did. Yeah, we went to the Alamo. Yeah, because somebody was born in Texas and never seen the Alamo. And I'm sorry, I... 
I am related to that person. Look, I grew I'm up. I grew up in South say. Texas. Right? It doesn't matter. Moved to North Texas. Yeah. I just we didn't do any stopping in between, baby. Okay. You. Were, I've been. I've been to St. Jacinto Park. You were grown. All right. That's where Texas won its, won its independence. You okay? were grown by I, the time been, I got around you, so you should have went. I don't think my mama was the type that gave a fuck about the Alamo. No, I'm saying you were grown though. Yeah, and poor. You know how much it takes to drive to damn San Antonio. Not that much. More than I had. Oh, and not okay. That, not that well, I even had a fucking car I trusted to make it that far. Okay. Well, I give you that much. It's fine. Hey, so, you've been there. You've been there. Yeah, thank you. I want to go back and I want to stay in that scary hotel. They have scary hotels basically everywhere, I, they know, say. I think I've been scared enough by the Border Patrol. <laughs> I don't... I just don't know how much more anxiety like that I need in my life. You, you know what I'm saying? That's true. I'm not real sure. I mean, because sure I'm probably like. to the point to where the ghost could all come out and be like, we're going to kill you. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I'm You're not done. scaring me. Unless you have a dog with you. And <laughs> then g- I might be scared. A ghost <laughs> drug dog. <laughs> fuck. Oh, my God. Yeah. That was fun. I did have a good time. Yeah, me too. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean yeah. the whole the whole trip, the whole vacation. I had a good time. I have a good time on every vacation we take. Yeah. And we try to take one every year. Yeah. It, well, you know, eh, every couple of years or so. Oh, we we've we have gone to Mexico. Yes, that was a seven day and even our cruise was interesting, you remember. So we take this <laughs> Oh yes. my god. We take this we take this <laughs> cruise. It's it's carnival. I mean, I think no bones they're not, about spo- they're not yeah. sponsoring us but if they want to we'll take it so we're like we're like hey you know let's take this cruise and well, let's we're, you're trying to decide three five or seven and we're like oh fuck it man let's do a what we need a seven day right was it seven or five i think it was whatever it was was two days too long <laughs> but <laughs> it was a long trip i think but it was the five day because you drive I down think there so yeah i think it was a five day so we, we drive to galveston we get on this cruise ship you know and it takes it sets sail you get out past the oil, uh, oil rigs and stuff, and you're like, wow, we're on a cruise ship, man. There's all these bikinis. Well, I mean, you know, you're in your bikini. Oh, but there's yeah, 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 whatever. A lot of other bikinis and shit around, and next thing you know, the captain comes over the the intercom, and it's like, uh, sorry, we got to turn around, because uh, somebody fell down the stairs and broke their hip. So we had to turn around. And, for, and we're hours out. Oh, yeah. Hours out. Yeah, too far for the care flight to make it there that's why the ship had to turn exactly. around exactly right so the coast guard flies a helicopter out to the yeah. cruise ship they clear the upper deck they lower the basket they put the dead guy or the hurt guy or whatever the guy yeah. was it was actually a lady i think yeah who fucking cares and and we the, got to watch all this it yeah. was so cool for us yeah not for, for the person us. in the basket no not for for the person well, even in the at basket. that point even, i don't know i mean now you got a basket story you can tell everybody yeah and is breaking your hip worth a free helicopter ride across okay, the ocean for me no and it's probably not free i'm sure it's the coast guard that's not care flight okay well, that's your military you pay yeah. you pay your taxes for well, the military they can't like bill you for like blowing up afghanistan why would they bill you for fucking <laughs> coming and getting you off of a cruise ship i don't know <laughs> you understand what i'm saying it was it was cool to watch though it really was it was but so. our vacations are always so full of but that's not the only interesting thing that happened to us mm. remember when we got to get, go into port we had an escort Oh, the first one. Yeah. Progreso, Mexico. Yeah. The, the military, the Mexican military police escorted us Ooh, in. Oh, yeah. I mean, they looked like fishing boats with guns. I mean, there weren't much. But they had, they, they had them anchored. They, I mean, they were, yeah. you know, they, yeah, you knew there were guns on there. And we went into Progreso, right? Yeah. And you're, you're on this, you're on this bus and you're driving through this town. And the only thing going through your mind is. I am about to get kidnapped. All right. And then, but or you get to the resort or yeah. something. Yeah. But you get to the resort. The resort was beautiful. Yeah. It you was. Know? It really was. It the was fences that. down there to keep people from climbing and jumping over their fences were really cool. Well, they're cement, yes. right? They're, they're then, you know, kind of like brick walls, right. I guess you could say. But they take beer bottles or Coke mm-hmm. bottles or whatever. And they put them in this wet cement, and when the yeah. cement dries, they just break them all. So now you got all this broken glass you can't put your hand over right. to climb over it, or you'll, yeah. you'll get cut. There's also another reason why they do that. It has something to do with the ancestry or something like that. The uh, colors from um, the bottles, when the sun hits it, it, you know, it 
brings colors into no, their No, baby. Dog. It's just to keep people from fucking breaking into their That's house. That's what I say. But there is another reason, that other reason for it. But old bottles are cheaper in ball bar? Probably because you know they're going to drink it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You got to drink plenty of it. And then on that same cruise, we went to Cozumel. We did. And Cosmel was beautiful. Remember, we went snorkeling. We did, and that and water was as clear as I'm looking at you right now. Yeah, but but what happened in the water? Those two fucking eels <laughs> is what happened in the fucking water. <laughs> Why is it always me? You right? always you. So I'm fucking snorkeling, right? So we're snorkeling. You yeah. won't dive because you're no, a puss. I, I I won't I won't dive. You're right. You were a puss. So I had the and, oh god, this was the old uh, waterproof click camera, the wind camera. You oh know? yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we wanted. Just of everything. It, they were disposable. Yeah. So I'm, I'm up, up there snorkeling, and it's probably, what, 25 feet, 30 feet? I, I don't know. Uh, deeper than what I was going to swim, I'm just saying. Puss. <laughs> and I look down, and I see this moray eel, and I've never in my life seen an eel outside of a zoo. So I'm like, I come up, I'm like, baby. They have eels in zoos? Not some. Really? Aquariums? I don't know. Yeah, wherever, they keep, an wherever they keep water animals. What the fuck ever? Who cares? <laughs> water That's animals. not the point of the story. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> they got those water elephants in Florida, you know what I'm talking okay. about? The manatees. Mm, uh, yeah, okay. Those are water cows, okay? Uh, water cows. But anyway, I'm talking about the more eel. Okay. So I come up to my <laughs> beautiful wife and I'm like, babe, there's an eel down there. Let's dive down there. And she's like, no. You can go with the fish man off the boat because he was like a fish. Oh, that dude could swim. <laughs> oh, my God. He didn't need no snorkel neither. And so I dive down there and I get a big breath and I dive and I'm kicking and I'm swimming and I get down there and I'm probably about six feet away from this moray eel to and take I, a picture to take a picture and then this bitch comes out and she's angry because apparently I interrupted moray eel mating season yeah okay because <laughs> for where I thought was one there was two and they both come out and they were gonna bite me and I'm they have big teeth Oh, yeah. They're scary looking they when they get mad. She looked yeah. like she might have been on top. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I interrupted. Okay. They were not happy about it, though, at all. They were not. <laughs> she looked me dead off in my eye with her flipper, right? She took her flipper oh, yeah. and she pointed yeah, She's she like, I'm pointed watching at her you. eyes and pointed at <laughs> yeah. you. She's like, I'm Getting watching like you. that dog. She's Just like, like I, I heard dog. from that dog and I'm watching you, buddy. Fuck nature. <laughs> I'm so done with nature. Fuck that shit. But it's always fun. For you. Because now you had to watch me shit my pants 30 (laughs) feet down. (laughs) Okay. And swim up with the brown trail falling right behind me. That's probably why when you got up and we all got back on the boat, they're like, hey, we're having shots. Here you go. Right. (laughs) Because you were so scared. They were like, here, take this shot. And and I could have swore because that water was clear. But you look, man, you probably look about a half mile out. And it starts getting kind of foggy, hazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like the coral reef in Cozumel is beautiful. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. so beautiful. But I knew Jaws was out there. Oh, I, yeah. Yeah. Okay? You, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You know Jaws you is there. You know you're in the ocean, not yes. a swimming pool. Yes. And that somewhere, there's it may not something. be right next to you, but there might be a shark out there. Okay. Oh, I not might be a shark out there. There is a shark out there somewhere. And, and I guarantee you, they can see me before I can see them. Oh, yeah. They could smell your shit from a mile away. <laughs> and, and I'm just wondering, <laughs> did I look like a big piece of baloney to that motherfucker? <laughs> y- y- you know? Maybe you'll get the shark like you that don't like baloney, and he's like, oh. <laughs> Won't try I nothing don't. new. <laughs> Never ate a human before. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. You can't make me, Mom. not going to do it. <laughs> oh, fuck. And then you get the, he's talking to the other shark. He's like, yeah, I bit the thigh off this one guy one time. It really wasn't bad. You ought to go try it. <laughs> no, oh. I don't want to. It's, no, it's probably gross. No, but by the time, by the time we got to day four on that, I think we were done. Yeah. I think we spent like the last day in our cabin. Well, probably because we were really sunburnt anyway. We got a Ooh, lot woman. of sun. Red as that Dr. Pepper can. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I think that was the first day. And then we just had sun every day after that. You did look cute dressed up for the formal dinner, though. Well, thank you, honey. You looked very nice. Oh, too. I was much skinnier then. Me too. Me too. Yeah, but I've gotten fatter. And, Me and, too. But you don't look any different. Yes, I do. 
I look different because I got to buy bigger clothes. You seem to somehow fit into the same shit you were wearing when we got married. Oh, no, I can't fit none of that shit, honey. Sorry. I, I cannot fit in any of the clothes I used to fit in when we first, even probably within the first five years we were together. I can't fit none of my hips are big now. They Baby, wide. You've always had big hips, but I, it's okay, not, a, it's I've not always, a complaining thing. You know what? I've always had big hips. You're right, but they are bigger now. They have a lot more <laughs> fluff on them. A lot more fluff. So. Where are we going on vacation next? I don't know. Where do you want to go? You want to go to Tombstone and have we've a gunfight? We've been talking about going to Tombstone for I 15 would, years. I would like to go to to- Tombstone. Would you? Ooh. I'd also like to go to England or... Okay, I can tell you I can get you to Tombstone before I get you to England. <laughs> I can buy you a Tombstone right the fuck now is what I can do. Okay? Okay. All right. All right. I, I would like to go to England, though. I'd like I, to go I, to Russia. I, okay. Or Ukraine. Okay, Australia. Yeah, but everything can kill you down there. And you know You're how, right. You know my luck with animals. That's true. Yeah, I can't take you to Australia. Mm-mm. You will die. Yeah. You would die. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and a, my, it, it would be like a kangaroo. That's shit. what I was yeah. going to say. It would be yeah. by a kangaroo just happened to be crossing the road, and you seen it, and it stopped and just like. Look me in the eye. It's look- a paw. <laughs> <laughs> Looks me in the eye and is like, I'm gonna come kill you. <laughs> I got, I got you. No, I, I know where you're staying. I, I'm fucking, after you, buddy. Fucking kangaroos, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be something like that, or koala, I, or some shit that killed you. <laughs> I think I can do the. I can do Tombstone, Arizona. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, maybe we can. Nice. Maybe we can go through uh, Roswell on the way or some oh, shit. Oh, I that would out. Look like, at some aliens, right? I would like to go check out Area 51 that's not really there. Just saying. Oh, it's there. Shh. Oh. And then I think I would like to go see Mount Rushmore. Go to the Dakotas. See the Black Hills and shit like Wait, that. Wait, didn't we go see? We've never been north of... Where did we go? We Up in Georgia. That we was, took the grandkids uh, Stone to... Stone Mountain. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Same. Yeah. It's kind of the same principle. Well, it's the same art. Same, I say artist, but right. the same guy who carved Stone Mountain carved Mount Rushmore. Right, right. But, um, I, I, you know, I'd like to see Mount Rushmore. I would, uh, you know, the Black Hills, the Dakotas. We've been to yeah. D.C., you know. We have, and that was fun. My parents live in Georgia, so we've kind of seen Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Been to Florida. Florida. Been everywhere in Texas. I've been everywhere, man. Yep, I've been yep. everywhere. No. Yep. Um, <laughs> Oklahoma. Suklahoma. Arkansas. Arkansas. Been to Missouri. Missouri. Uh, I've <laughs> been to Illinois, and we both been to Pennsylvania, but none of that was on vacation. Well, it was a kind of a vacation for me. You know what was pretty? Me? Not Well, you, oh, baby, okay. of course. But what? when I went on that job interview in Tennessee... Oh, yeah. And we got to drive Tell of the Dragon. Yeah. Remember that? Now, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Oh, that was a beautiful Nothing tried ride. to kill you on that trip. Well, because it was cold and everything was frozen, but... Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I'm sure if some shit had been thawed out, I'd probably deal with some rattlesnakes or shit up there in the mountains. Uh, probably. But... Some big old elk that doesn't even live around there would, like, hop out and just, you <laughs> We're know. never going to Alaska because there's bears and moose, moose and shit up uh, there. Moose are definitely, huge. Definitely going to fucking die. Oh, my God. Only place I ever seen a live bear outside of a zoo was dead on the side of the road in Pennsylvania. Mm. I don't think if I've seen a dead I, I think one time I seen a dead bear, but it didn't get close enough to see if it really was a bear. And it was down oh. here in Texas. Oh, you mean there ain't no bears in Texas? I'm telling you, I think it was it was something very That had to have been like big. a fucking rogue dog or some shit. This thing was bigger than you. It wasn't a bear. There are no wild bears in Texas. There has to be wild bear in Texas. Why you you Google that? No. I think there's wild bears no, in Texas. No, because I'm sure we'll get enough emails saying, fuck you, there's no bears in Texas. There, I believe there are bears in Where? Texas. Where? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was a moose or <laughs> a bear because it was big. Could have been a deer. No, I think it was bigger than a deer. Could've I know what a, a deer, I know what a a deer looked like because I've run over deer before. A coyote? No, it was way bigger. You know what? I, um. The oldest will be back. Why, why are you pointing to me? When the oldest gets back, you ask her because she's seen the same thing. It's not a bear in Texas. Okay. 
I, hey, I'm just saying it was something. It oh, I don't doubt. Bigfoot. <laughs> I don't know. It was big. Oh, I don't doubt it was something, but it wasn't a bear. Okay. <laughs> it was big, like a bear or okay. a moose or chupacabra. a bigfoot. It could have been chupacabra. It could have been a chupacabra. But it wasn't I've never a bear. seen them. It wasn't a bear. It's probably okay. some lady's hairy ass fucking husband. Okay. <laughs> trying to run out from on a the three day aff- drunk. Yeah, on the trying to run out on the affair he was having and got killed. Nobody stopped to help him because he looked like a big hairy bear. <laughs> Could have been. All it that, been. All that back hair, he wasn't getting up. No, they were like, ooh, I don't want to go near that. That's scary. Man. Scary, I say. Fuck vacations, man. No, vacations are fun. I like to go on vacation. I wish I could get my dream job of being... A travel agent? A hooker? N- kind of like a travel agent. Oh. I don't want to have to work. I just want to get to travel. Oh, I feel you. No, I get you. Travel. Put me up in hotels. Give me room service the rest of my life. I'm just saying. Hmm. I could live on room service. Oh, no, no. I bet you could. (laughs) I really could. Yes, you could. That's fortuitous. It means lucky. (laughs) I know what it means. Yeah. Damn. Ooh, woman, that's about it. No fucking bear what? stories. Bear in Texas. Bear. Fucking bear in Texas. It was something big like that. Yeah, yeah, I know it was big. It wasn't a bear. Okay. Could have been a mountain lion. We have mountain lions. And you know, that is true. I've heard but them. But you are not going to confuse a mountain lion and a bear. No. No. Like I said, I didn't really get close enough to see. Why are you but, scared it was going to jump up and meet well, you? Whatever it was, was... Well, I, you know, like usual, I was on a time schedule and going here and there and doing this and that. So, you know, I just didn't have time enough to turn around and look and see what it was. It mm. could have been a coat around or a big fuzzy blanket. Somebody, somebody lost their fur coat. Maybe. Maybe. I, You know, it could have been somebody in the fur coat. I don't know. No, I get you. I did not get close enough to see. Mm. Oh, we're never going on vacation again. So Yeah, yeah, we are. No, no. <laughs> you done die? Uh, nope. <coughs> nope. So, yeah, okay. we are never going on vacation again. We are, too, because I like vacation. No. And if we yes. do go on, okay, fine. You know why? But we're not doing anything with Vol's animals, ever. Ever, okay. ever. Okay, okay. okay. I, yeah, yeah, I give so you that. So if you can find a spot that don't have animals, we're good. I don't even like these little fucking squirrels out here. <laughs> little eyeballing, they're beady-eyed I- motherfuckers. They're, they're squaring you up. They, I know. They are. They're going to attack they me are. and try to eat me. Maybe, maybe. I, they're out here collaborating with the dogs. <laughs> little fuckers. Yep, yep. Speaking of dogs, they all are outside and it's mm-hmm. kind of cold. Oh, stop. They're dogs. Have you seen how the baby's acted today? <laughs> you spoil that dog so bad. Uh, no. Do you yeah, think? No. Yeah. Uh, who carried her in the living room today? Because she wouldn't get up <laughs> and walk on her own because so you, you put a collar around you her neck. You spoil her. Not me. Because guess where I was? I was in the living I knew and, where she was at. I what, wasn't picking her up. And what'd she do the minute I put her in your lap? I want my mom. I want my mom. I know, but I knew where she was at. I knew what she was doing. I told you. You're a bitch to the dogs. <laughs> You're a bitch because they're outside right now because you want to record. Yeah, in peace. I know. I but, left the okay. door open for you, by the way. What door? The bedroom door. You let people watch? No. Oh, okay. I'm just saying I, I, I did that. I don't mm. know where the cat is. <laughs> Fuck that cat. <laughs> But he could get in if he wants to. Last I seen him, he was on the back porch, though. So, All right. Well, I love you, baby. I love you, too, thanks honey. For, thanks for taking a half. Well, actually, like an hour, because the first episode well, was a failure. You don't have to put that. Yeah, I might save it for, hey, failed mm-hmm. episodes of Me and Mrs. Always Right. Yeah. So, but I love you. I love you, too, honey. All right. You have a good night. All right. You, too. Oh, are you not going to do the outro? Oh, yeah. Well, you were the one saying I love you. I'm just you're like normally, the fucking I'm dogs are. Okay. You're like the dogs are dying. I'm just trying to hurry up so you don't let them in. <laughs> hey, if you enjoyed listening to us, send us an email at me and Mrs. Always Right at gmail.com or check us out on Facebook at me and Mrs. Always Right. Yeah, you can also we have an Instagram, me and Mrs. Always Right, and Patreon if you want to donate to us because we don't have any sponsors and you don't have to, uh, but you can get 
full episodes there. Nothing's cut out. At me and Mrs. Always Right. Yeah, like the coughing and oh. sneezing and the throwing up. Look at me naked. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. Now I so, love you, baby. Oh, you love me just now, not before. <laughs> well, I mean, before we didn't get the email and shit out there. So I know I love you too, right. honey. I love you, baby. <laughs> all right. You have a good night. You too. All right. Bye. Bye.